Hello friends, this is Brad Hollowell, uh, otherwise known as Pug Weasel, and uh, also known as the black guy from the Black Guy White Guy Show. I'll talk about that later. Uh, this video is specifically about my new to me uh, Winchester 1892. Uh, I've only had a few views on the, the 1892. I already did a video on it, kind of introducing the fact that I got it, and I think it's really cool. But here lately, I went to a local gun shop, and uh, Olathe Guns, and I asked them about cleaning it, shooting it, so on and so forth. I talked to the specific guy they, they pay to clean guns as they get guns in, uh, used or antique guns, and he looked at it and kind of gave me some instructions on how I could clean it. The owner looked at it, gave me a an estimate, I'm not going to get into that, because I'm not going to sell it, but uh, told me that he felt like he was confident that he would shoot the, this gun if he if it was his he wouldn't have any problem with it and I think that's to do with the octagonal barrel uh, but and so you uh, it's a sturdier barrel than the round barrel and so he felt like it was a, a gun that, that was perfectly fine to shoot in any case the reason I'm leaning over is because I want to spotlight the gun as I try to do some cleaning on it but just to tell you what it is that the guy told me that I should try out is one this G96 gun trooper. It claims that it does all three. It's triple action and it, it cleans, lubricates, and, and lubricates and protects. And he told me to use this. And I guess I should show you the package. It's quadruple lot uh, fineness of steel wool. It's a polishing. Uh, uh, basically, that's what it's for. It's for polishing as opposed to. To, to sanding stuff off per se, but uh, basically what I want to do is I just kind of want to. I'm trying this out for the first time myself. I'm not uh, a gun expert, and so what I'm doing is kind of follow the instruction, following the instructions that the the uh, gun shop owner and his. Uh, guy who specializes in cleaning old guns told me to do and so and I'm going to do it basically right here in front of you uh, for the first time so I have my steel wool I've cut off a piece the reason I did this is because I was watching a video trying to you know figure out what good advice I might be able to get off YouTube and a guy had cut up his steel wool instead of using the whole big gigantic piece and I said well, that's smart and so he's basically said he was going to rub on it and then he was going to rotate it because he didn't want to take the actual rust that was already on it and turn it into an, an abrasive that would scratch off uh, more of the the bluing. So right here in front of you I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to take a shot at cleaning uh, this gun. I won't make you suffer through watching me clean the whole thing but I will uh, let you see me do a little bit of each part of it that I was you know, and basically instructed to, to try and clean. So let's go ahead and, and do a part of this that, that has a bunch of rust on it and uh, see what we can get accomplished with this steel wool, just giving it a rub. I don't want to put, you know, they, didn't, they said don't put any pressure on it, don't rub hard, don't, uh, you know, try and you know, not a whole lot of elbow grease is, is, you know, he just said, you know, give it a shot. Just put a little of this oil on it and rub it and you'll find it. And I basically have to live with what I can't get off of it is kind of basically the, the impression I got was to rub it and, and just get what I could get off of it. Not to uh, put too fine a point on it. Not to try to scrub the crap out of it and and make it clean because I would just end up getting a lot of the bluing off. So, uh, like I said, I just taking a shot at it, see what I get, and I'm not seeing that the the rust is completely gone. Now, understand this is a 118 year old gun, and I may not be able to get all the rust off of it. I may have to live with some of it. Uh, so now we're going to put some on the barrel here, see what I can get done with the barrel, which has got a brown patina color. It doesn't seem to be in too bad a shape. 
uh, in the context of having a lot of rust on it, per se, it just seems to have this brown patina, which is, uh, you know, rubbing on it seems to just kind of get it smooth, get some of the gook off of it that's been on here for God knows how long. Uh, and I'm just trying that out. And uh, this stuff seems to be worth, you know, what, what it claims. It claims to do a little bit of everything and uh, doesn't seem to be stripping the thing of anything and uh, doesn't seem to be doing any harm to it. Okay, so that's enough on that barrel. Again, I'll do a little bit at a time. I'll take my time on it, not do a whole lot, not decide that I have to have it in perfect shape all at one time because I think I'd end up doing more damage to it than anything else if I did that. But uh, get just getting some of this off of here and making it look okay. It's just looking okay, right? Now I want to try this wood. So all the way down at this end, of it is my uh, there's the, you can't you may not be able to see it but there's a, a right around here there's some initials carved into it there's some deep grooves in it uh, and then uh, right here we're gonna do a little bit of this too uh, really quick but uh, let me uh, maybe I'll cut off a little bit more of this and see where I get with this. If you've watched my, my uh, video I just put out there very recently on first my first aid kit that I put together, you'll notice that I have a pair of scissors in my first aid kit that look just like these. These are not the same ones. I don't take my first aid kit scissors out and use them for other things. But these utility scissors are great for a lot of stuff. They will kill, they will, they will cut metal, you know, metal flashing. They will cut almost everything. So, you ought to get yourself a pair for uh, utility use as well as putting in your, uh, your first aid kit. So I'm using kind of a round motion to get the uh, metal part of this. See if I can get it clean. Not clean, but you know, basically get the crap off of it. Let me wipe that off and see what see if it looks smooth. It's still got some gook on it. This takes patience. This is not uh, a, you know, this isn't a do this all at once, get it knocked off and get home type of thing. Sorry for putting that in the way. Here I am trying to show you something and I put the bottle in the way. Okay. And he said just, you know, Wipe it, check it out, see how you do. And uh, don't get ahead of yourself, don't get in a hurry. So, that's that part. Now let's see how it does, because they, I mean, this stuff claims to work, this stuff claims to work on, on the metal, claims to work on the wood. And, and the guy at the shop said the same thing. He said, you know, I use it on the metal, I use it on the wood, it's good stuff. So let's, let's try it out on this, uh, Gun butt, shall we? Uh, again, because I don't want to be a, it'd be abrasive. By what it's picking up, I'm going to cut a little more off here, and uh, then I'm going to use it on the wood. See how it goes. Now, this is a a pretty old gun, and it hadn't been used. It hadn't been nobody's done anything to it. 
it seems to be soaking this oil up pretty good. So I'm going to have to use a little bit more here uh, just to keep myself. I don't, I feel like this uh, steel wool is kind of coming off, but I can get that with the uh, towel. I have these white parts on here. I don't know if it's going to come off or not. Because I don't know that this is made very well for, to, to deal with actual what pain or whatever it might be. I don't know. I'm not going to work, again, even on the wood, I'm not going to work too hard at it. I'm just going to see what I get. Well, and it makes it look a little bit cooler just because some of those deep grooves, instead of being light colored anymore, are now uh, all kind of the same color. It's very smooth. It looks feels pretty good. Uh, I like what it's doing, and so this is going to be my project. I'm going to work at it a little bit at a time for the next uh, few weeks, and maybe when I am completely and utterly done, I will let you see the final product. Uh, what I really want to do is to take some video of me when I'm out shooting it, and let you see me shooting it, hopefully not blowing up in my face. And until then, uh, again, this is Brad Hollowell, otherwise known as P Pug Weasel. Also known as the Black Guy from the Black Guy, White Guy Show, you can check out our podcast. It's liberal politics from a Midwestern perspective. We're also pro-Second Amendment. Uh, you can check it out at www.blackguywhiteguy.com. Uh, so go to our website, listen to the show.